All right, guys, it's time for Say What? And as you can tell, our retired Navy esteemed guest here is quite passionate um, <laughs> uh, about food and, and passionate about the community. Mm. Um, so, but before we get into what he has to say, there's a really cool video I found in my research. Let's go to that now. Genetically engineered foods have deeply infiltrated the American food supply. Almost 90% of crops like corn, soybeans, canola, and sugar beets grown in the United States are now genetically modified. Genetic engineering promises increased crop yields, lower costs for farmers, and reduced use of herbicides. But are these goals really being achieved? Are you benefiting from genetically engineered crops or paying a dear price for you and your children's future? It's time for an awakening. Learn to separate the truths from the myths on genetic engineering. Genetic engineering is totally different from natural breeding methods. Its promoters claim that genetic engineering is a safe and beneficial process, even going as far as saying that it's an extension of natural plant propagation. The truth, this is a laboratory-based technique where a foreign gene is inserted into the DNA of the plant. This is an uncontrolled process because the site of insertion is random and may potentially damage the plant's genetic makeup. The mutations that occur during the genetic engineering process can lead to many unexpected changes in the resulting crop, such as poor crop performance, alterations in the food's nutritional content, toxic and allergenic effects, and unforeseen harm to the environment. Genetic engineering does not reduce pesticide use. The proliferation of genetically engineered Roundup Ready crops has led to an increase in the amount of pesticides and herbicides used. The allowed residue limit of glyphosate, the world's top weed killer, has also been increased. Monsanto promotes Roundup, its glyphosate-based pesticide, as safe and having low toxicity, but these claims are based on outdated and questionable studies. Monsanto Agriculture France was even charged with false advertising after claiming that Roundup is biodegradable and leaves the soil clean after use. Roundup is not biodegradable. In fact, Roundup's glyphosate is classified by the European Union to be dangerous for the environment. Nature always adapts, paving the way for glyphosate-resistant superweeds. This requires the increased use of stronger pesticides. Producers of the genetically engineered seeds benefit from the massive failure because of higher farmer dependence on their toxic chemicals. Genetic engineering does not increase crop yield potential. Genetically engineered crops do not increase intrinsic yield and actually have the opposite effect. Glyphosate depletes soil quality by killing the natural nutrients and organisms that are necessary for the plant's development, leading to plant diseases. Glyphosate is highly invasive and can mix with rain, air, water, soil, and groundwater. Genetic engineering creates serious environmental problems. Increased pesticide and herbicide use affects wildlife and the non-pest insect population. The increasing propagation of Roundup Ready corn and soybeans heavily contributed to the fall in monarch butterfly populations in North America. Pesticides affect the health of both GMO and non-GMO plants and can potentially kill them. Studies reveal that glyphosate leads to increased rates of sudden death syndrome, SDS, a plant disease that causes plants to turn yellow and die. Wow, this, this, this was a powerful video to watch. What do you think about what we saw, Robert? I know you have a lot to say. Uh, I wish it was just that bad. Mm. It's actually worse. Mm. It's worse because uh, the pesticide glyphosate is a first and foremost it's a patented antibiotic, so it kills bacteria. That's its purpose in life when it was originally formulated. Uh, secondly, it's used as an herbicide, and third discovery was it's very effective as a desiccant. So even if you're not eating genetically modified foods. Mm -hmm. uh, glyphosate is used in conventional crops, such as potatoes and any kind of tubers, and many grains, because what it does is it dries out the grains, make, or dries out the, uh, the, the roots of the potato crops, so it makes it even easier to harvest. And in the grains, it forces the seeds to bud, yeah. or the buds to seed, and so they can collect a more fruitful harvest of grain. So you hear about wheat gluten intolerance and things like that. And whenever I hear someone say that, the first thing I, I think to myself is it's really a pesticide issue. It's not a, you're not allergic to wheat gluten. You're allergic to what, what the wheat gluten is doing mm -hmm. to your body as mm -hmm. a result of being contaminated. Mm -hmm. And that's, that's why I focus in my conversations uh, mostly about glyphosate because it's more insidious. 
Correct. Then, uh, GMOs are one thing, but something that you expect to be not mm -hmm. contaminated is, and that's really bad. So the bottom line is Monsanto um, uh, created this idea of GMOs to make it easier for farmers to farm, to make it um, easier for them to collect Right. It's their, all about their crops. It's it's about industrial agriculture, correct. business efficiency. Make it it's faster, a business model. Easier, correct. That's right. And now what's happening is that it's turning around to bite us. It is. And yeah. and what the discovery is in, in uh, is that uh, there's a lot of cancers, for example, uh, liver cancer, lymph node cancer, thyroid cancer, uh, diabetes, uh, many, many types of uh, correlated diseases and disorders are now being directly contributed. Uh, attributed to the introduction of glyphosate. And they say correlation does not equal causation, but when you look over different kinds of illnesses that people are experiencing in the last 20 years, there's a direct correlation in the increased use of the pesticide mm -hmm. and the occurrences of these disorders in people. Wow. It's, it's very frustrating to me. Next. All right, let's go into your first. Food is toxic and so are you. This is a reality check, folks. I mean, everyone in this studio right now is toxic. I'd have to say, I. I kind of think I'm less toxic. You, you three. <laughs> it's like I'm less However, toxic than I am. But, <laughs> but the fact of the matter is, is that if you're consuming foods and you're not mindful of what you're consuming, hmm. you're eating pesticides and other kinds of toxins and chemicals. And it's demonstrated right now that glyphosate, for example, the World Health Organization has just came out with a report not eight weeks ago that said of the four grades of carcinogens where grade four means you can eat it all day long and it's perfectly healthy. Mm -hmm. To one being, this is a known carcinogen. Correct. Glyphosate has been determined to be a level two. Wow. So it's a probable carcinogen. This is, this is the World Health Organization communicating out to the world outside the United States that this is serious. That the thing that we spray. The thing that we spray on, on all, all of our, our food, foods, no matter whether it's GMOs or conventionally grown yep. food, has a probability has a to pro make us Has sick. a probable carcinogen in it. Fantastic. It's very Next annoying. slide. <laughs> Pay the farmer, not the pharmacist. Absolutely, please. You know, when, when you choose to eat a healthy diet, when you, when you go and seek out local produce, it's not to say that it's all clean. I mean, I know of local farmers who use pesticides, and I asked them, I said, what are you using for integrated pest control? What is, what is your methodology? As Correct. soon as I hear that term pesticide or glyphosate or Roundup, I'm moving on. I'm going to go shop somewhere else wow. because I... Robert Grady. Very informative um, time with you. It's been really great hanging out with, with Robert. Boy, did we learn a lot today. Uh, we learned a new big word, glyphosate. Oh, it's painful. <laughs> and, um, you know, we're now aware that um, it's on most of our foods. It's what they spray to get the insects off the foods. But then now we're reaping what comes afterwards. It's hurting our bodies. It's hurt, hurting the plants. It's hurting the butterflies. So we learned some good stuff today. Check us out on Facebook. You know where we are, hanging out with Dee. See you next time. Be kind to someone. Bye. Thanks for watching.